Hello and welcome to the Luxury Channel. Are you ready to be blown away by the incredible stories of some of the most successful and powerful women in the world? We all know about famous celebrities like Kim Kardashian or Taylor Swift. But what about the real powerhouses of the financial world? The ultra-billionaires who have amassed staggering fortunes without ever seeking the spotlight. Today, we're going to take an exclusive look into the lives of our top 5 amazing women and uncover the secrets of their incredible success. These are women who have defied the odds, shattered glass ceilings, and proven that anything is possible with hard work, grit, and determination. So grab some popcorn, sit back, and get ready to be inspired by the incredible stories of the world's most successful women you've never heard of. At number 5, Mackenzie Scott. Mackenzie is a successful novelist who won the American Book Award in 2006 for her first novel, The Testing of Luther Albright, which was published in 2005 and was highly popular. Her talent for writing has led to the publication of many best-selling books over the years. Despite her accomplishments as a writer, it was her highly publicized divorce from her husband Jeff Bezos, the founder of Amazon, that caused her wealth to skyrocket and made her one of the richest people in the world. In 1993, the journey of Scott and Bezos began. The couple got married in 1994 and moved to Seattle, where they started Amazon. It is believed that Scott played a vital role in the early days of the company, and she was one of the first employees of Amazon. She was involved in various aspects of building up the company, such as naming the company, making business plans, handling accounts, shipping early orders, and even negotiating the company's first freight contract in 1996. However, as Amazon grew and became successful, Scott's involvement in the company reduced, and she shifted her focus to her family and her writing career. Even though Mackenzie Scott avoided the public eye for many years, she owned 4% of Amazon until her divorce from Jeff Bezos in 2019. The divorce was widely publicized, but it left her with 35.6% billion dollars worth of Amazon stock, while her former husband kept 75% of their Amazon shares. This made her the third richest woman in the world and one of the richest people overall in the same year. By September 2020, Mackenzie Scott became the richest woman in the world, and in December of the same year, her net worth was estimated to be $62 billion which was the highest any woman had ever achieved at that time. As of July 2002, Forbes ranked her as the 22nd richest person in the world. However, her enormous wealth came with a lot of criticism after her divorce from Jeff. She changed her name from Mackenzie Bezos to Mackenzie Scott, using a new surname derived from her middle name. In May 2019, after announcing her divorce on social media, Mackenzie Scott signed the Giving Pledge, committing to donate at least half of her wealth during her lifetime. She has kept her promise and has reportedly given away $14.4 billion to almost 1,600 nonprofits between July 2020 and November 2022. Number 4. Georgina, aka Gina Hope Reinhardt. Georgina Reinhardt is not only one of the world's richest women, but also Australia's richest living citizen. Gina became extremely wealthy in Australia through her involvement in the mining industry, her business acumen, and by being an heiress. She is currently the executive chairman of a company called Hancock Prospecting, which explores for and extracts minerals from the ground. This company was established by her father. Gina was her father's only daughter, and when he passed away in 1992, she inherited an estate that was in debt and a company that was financially struggling. Despite these difficulties, Gina took over as executive chairman and worked tirelessly to revive the company. 
She succeeded in her efforts and transformed it into the largest privately owned company in Australia. By 2018, the company had significantly increased its revenue and was generating an impressive $6 billion. Since then, its revenue has continued to grow and now sits at $7 billion. Apart from its other business interests, Hancock Prospecting has a 50% stake in a mining complex called Hope Downs that extracts iron ore in eastern Australia. This investment generates around $500 million in profits each year for Hancock Prospecting and its owner. The mines at Hope Downs have an annual production capacity of at least 30 million tons of iron ore. If the world's wealthiest people have one thing in common, it's a desire to diversify their income, and Gina is no exception. In addition to being a big player in the mining industry, she's also the second biggest producer of cattle in Australia, owning properties all over the country. According to our report published in May 2021, she's actually the largest landholder in Australia. Gina has worked hard and has been smart with her investments, and as a result, her wealth skyrocketed to $29.7 billion in 2012. This impressive net worth has also landed Gina on Forbes' list of the world's 100 most powerful women multiple times over the last 10 years. Number 3. Jacqueline Mars If you love candies like M&M's, Skittles, Twix, or Milky Way bars, then you have helped in making this woman very wealthy. As a member of the Mars family, she owns about one-third of Mars, which is the biggest candy-making company in the world. Her shares in Mars and other assets were valued at $23.5 billion by Forbes magazine in January 2019, which made her the 18th richest American and 34th on the list of the world's billionaires. After her retirement, she continued to serve on the company's board until 2016. Now that she's retired, Jacqueline enjoys the life of a billionaire with a net worth of $38.3 billion, making her one of the richest women in the world. Number 2. Alice Louise Walton Alice Walton is the only daughter of Walmart's founder, Sam Walton, and inherited a significant amount of wealth. However, she didn't let that stop her from achieving more. After completing her education at Trinity University, Alice worked at Walmart briefly, but then left to become a broker. However, she wasn't successful in that career and decided to become an equity analyst and money manager instead. Alice led an investment activities for the family-owned Arabist Bank Group and eventually founded her own investment bank called Lama Company, which was a subsidiary of Walton Enterprises. She ran the bank for 10 years, which provided services such as bonds, asset management, and loans to other businesses. Alice served as the bank's president, chairwoman, and CEO. She also played a significant role in the development of the Northwest Arkansas Regional Airport. In 1998, the Lama Company closed, and Alice decided to retire from her high finance career to spend more time with her family and horses. She moved to a 3,200-acre farm in Texas called the Rocking W Ranch, where she became one of the best horse breeders. Alice retired with a net worth of $57.4 billion, making her the second richest woman in the world at that time. According to the Bloomberg Billionaires Index, Alice has been ranked as the third richest woman in the world in recent years, despite mainly living in Texas. Number 1. Françoise Betancourt Myers Françoise Betancourt Myers is a French businesswoman, writer, pianist, and philanthropist who has been named the world's richest woman since 2002. She is estimated to have a net worth of $79.3 billion. Françoise inherited her wealth from her grandfather, Eugene Schuler, who founded the L'Oréal Beauty Empire. Françoise inherited around 39.5 billion euros, which has since grown by at least 50% in the last five years. Françoise Betancourt's wealth has reportedly tripled due to investments made through her family's holding company, Tempus Invest, 
and the high valuation of L'Oreal shares. At 69 years old, her net worth is now twice what it was before. Francoise prefers to live a low-key lifestyle and invests her wealth in scientific, artistic, and cultural projects. She donated around $220 million for the reconstruction of the Notre Dame Cathedral, among other philanthropic activities. Despite her immense wealth, she lives simply in Paris, enjoying public parks and avoiding private jets. She is passionate about literature and art, but is said to feel overwhelmed by her enormous fortune and unsure of how to use it. Francoise is known for being private and has not given many interviews. While the public has only seen glimpses of her life, it seems like she's using her wealth in a positive way. That's all! If you enjoyed this video and would like to learn more about travel and luxury experiences, be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more content.